Lots of mushrooms. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, this time I'm going to make sukiyaki with homemade tofu. Sukiyaki is a really popular pot dish in winter in Japan, and homemade tofu is so much better than store bought. And it's pretty easy to make, so if you get a chance, please give it a try. First, let the soybeans soak in water for about half a day. The soaking time depends on water temperature. You can see the details in the description. Then blend it to make namago. Add the namago to boiling water and stir for about 10 minutes. While stirring, make sure the namago doesn't burn on the bottom of the pan. Then strain the namago with a filter cloth to get soy milk. The leftover is called okara. It's very healthy, so I normally keep it. Next, prepare an igari to curdle the soy milk. You can also use lemon juice. Heat up the soy milk and keep the temperature at 75 degrees Celsius. Add the nigari and stir gently. Leave it for about 15 minutes. While resting the soy milk, prepare a container for shaping the tofu. This is actually a shaper for sushi, but you can use whatever you want. For example, you can make holes on the bottom of a milk carton, or you can just use your filter cloth and tie it up tightly to shape the tofu. Then soak the tofu in cold water for about 30 minutes. Cut it into pieces. If you don't have a torch, you can grill it, or you can just leave it as it is. Now prepare your vegetables. Thank you. 
Let's make the sauce. Add sake and mirin and boil it. Then add sugar and soy sauce and let the sugar melt. Now it's all set. Melt the beef fat and cook the green onion in the sukiyaki pot to add flavor to the sauce. Then add the sauce and cook the tofu, mushroom, and konyaku. Finally, place everything else. Normally, sukiyaki is eaten together with a family or friends, so please enjoy a sukiyaki party. Oh, my tofu. Oh, so good. Oh, my tofu is the best. So, I actually created a website thanks to Squarespace. I'll be posting more detailed information about the recipes I make and equipment I use there. I've been wanting to make a website for a while, and even though I have no web design experience, I was able to make one on my own. They have so many templates to choose from no matter what kind of website you want to make. And the design process is really easy and intuitive. You can buy your domain through Squarespace or transfer it if you already have a domain somewhere else, like I did, since I've had Jun'sKitchen.com for years even though I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. Check out Squarespace.com for free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jun'sKitchen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you for watching.